Schwaltz. Old Man Comic Book Reviews. We got a couple. So it'll be great. We're going to start off with the second issue of Michael Moorcock's The Dreaming City. This was bagged and I couldn't figure out why. It's the, it's the Elric novels. So he's been getting ready to attack Mel Nibone, uh, if I've said that wrong. Tough. Um, and he's going to go in to save, uh, oh, I forget her name, Cimarron? Pretty sure that's it. And I'm like, well, why is this bagged? I don't understand why this is bagged. It's because apparently with her costume, the black and then nothing on her titties. So, and this comic book is packed. You ask me, well, Doug, how packed can it be? First, though, let's do our writer-artist thing. Um, adapted and written by Julian Blondel and Jean-Luc Cano. Art by Julian Tello. So two, two Julians in one book. You can't go wrong there. It says based on the novels by it. So that's that. This book has no ads at all. I don't, did they charge me extra for this? Hold on. Nope, $3.99. It so doesn't have any ads that this is the back, the back two pages, this huge spread. This is the back cover. They utilize the back cover as part of the storyline, and it's the books. I love the books, so I don't know the, about the titties thing, but whatever. Yeah, They were nice, so we'll leave it. And to go straight from that, we'll go into the wholesome product. This was done by Graphic Chapters. Marvel, part of an imprint of Scholastic, it is Spider-Ham. Great power, no responsibility. And uh, it is uh, written by Stephen Fox, illustrated by Shadia Amin, and basically they give him the key to the city, and he thinks that's cool, and he leaves with the key to the city, even though it's just a symbolic thing. And you have to understand that he is a spider that was bitten by a radioactive pig. So that's why he's a pig. So I think it, it, it's weird. So anyways, um, so he has to backtrack and find the key. So first he goes and sees the thief with the heart of gold, black catfish. This is kind of funny on, a, on an adult level as well, because I'm getting catfish maybe. I thought that was funny. Uh, and then after he visits her, he goes and sees his girlfriend, Mary Jane Water Buffalo. <laughs> She's not real happy about the black catfish, by the way, and they have pizza. Okay, so yeah, by the way, before we go too much further, he's eating a hot dog. They're having pizza with what, it's literally pepperoni. What's in their meat? These are all animals. Is he, is he cannibalistic? So, um... Then he doesn't fight the green gobbler. He fights the hobgobbler. And they make fun of him. Pretty much the same gimmick, just in orange. Uh, so the green gobbler is loose. And then there's um, Sandman, but he's a walrus. And Doc Ock is a cat. Octavius, maybe? I don't know. They didn't give it a little thing for him. And of course, running the Daily Bugle. Sorry, the Daily Beagle is our own J. Jonah Jackal. I had a kill for him to be J. Jonah Jackass. <laughs> but I didn't get to. And there's also Hulk Bunny. And they do a Calvin and Hobbes recreation here with Spider-Ham and Culp. They also even do a cartoon of uh, Garfield, but it's, it's Spider-Ham in the Garfield part. And so he keeps looking for it. He has to go see Croctor Strange. The puns make the book, to be honest. And he goes and visits our Spider-Man by accidentally opening a rift. And Spider-Man's like, you know, I swear I'm eating beef on my pizza. Because he sees Peter Porker. And so he finds, oh, and it's time to go visit the Avengers. We have Squawk Eye. And Scarlet Pooch. And Ant Ant. He's an ant-sized ant. His name is Ant Ant. And, oh lord, who else have we got in here? Black Panda. So the costumes are the same. I, they don't tell you who the Vision is, but he looks like a penguin. So that's kind of interesting. The Scavengers, instead of the Avengers. Captain America, Sentinel of Feline Liberty. Iron Mouse. This one's a stretch. I don't like the way they do this. Captain Meowville. 
Is that a Captain Marvel? Kind of a stretch. And third, Dog of Thunder! So, that was pretty funny. He eventually finds the key and gets it back because unfortunately, um, the key actually opens up real things and they need it back. Uh, the evil sidekick we find out later is Ms. Herring. She is red. The King Pen is the King Peg. That was kind of a that was kind of a given. So you have to fight King Peg, and they get the key back, and the mayor gets the key back. Oh, the mayor! There you go. So and he got a reward of twenty five dollars for pizza. So Mary Jane, Water Buffalo, and him are. This is this was so much fun. I love Spider Ham. It was fun. If you it wasn't that expensive. It's it's a you know smaller book. It's embossed. Nice pages, big page count, eight ninety nine. If you go to Fanfare and give them five dollars a year, they'll give you a discount on your comic books. Well, let's do what I don't like: Savage Avengers twenty four. I cannot believe that this is still a book. Uh, I love this book. This is called "The Defilement of All Things" by the Cannibal Sorcerer Kulangoth, Part One. But they do that thing where it's Kulangoth. And the Savage Avengers show up, and then everybody, it's a, it becomes an extinction level event, so at that point you're like, oh, so none of this is real, and they're going to, I won't tell you what they do. You can figure out, if it's time shenanigans, who shows up on the last page. You'll get it. And let's give you the, the rundown, if I can find it. There's a couple of cute tricks. Conan and um, Dr. Doom Armor was my favorite one. Uh, writer, Jerry Dugan. Artist Patch Zercher. Thanks, Patch. It's easy to say Patch. So I don't like when they do these. So this is kind of irritating me. I did like that they're going with it because the next episode issue is called Next, The Defilement of All Things by the Cannibal Sorcerer Cooling Up Part 2. So we'll see how they, they fix it. It's got a stupid thing where he's got all the weapons and stuff from the all the heroes he killed. Because he killed everybody. Sensational Wonder Woman, unless you're uh, Matt at Fanfare Comics and Cards, who mispronounced it and called her Sensual Wonder Woman. So, we picked on him about that. Uh, for this one we have, the writer and artist are the same. It's Sonia Anwar. And it's about a girl that's going missing who's married to a multi-millionaire. And they have a little boy. And she keeps being called nothing. She's just an Instagrammer, so she's not really a person. She married for money, stuff like that. There is a really nice ad for Harley Quinn and Poison Ivy smooching. Everyone will probably want that. The Eat Bang Kill Tour. So, so she. anyways, Wonder Woman goes down to find out exactly what's going on. This is really a setup for a new villain, is what it is. She's just, and I think they just call her the Mask. I don't know. I don't know what they call her. I don't really think we get a... There's only the mask, is what she says. So, I don't know what they're doing with this. This wasn't the greatest issue. The artwork's really nice, though. I like it. So, yeah. it, the sensual Wonder Woman. Shang-Chi! Part 4! Versus the Fantastic Four! Because he finds out, he believes that his sister, this giant, thundering woman is stuck in the negative zone. So he asks Reed Richards, and Reed goes, well, I heard you're doing these shady things, so the answer is no. So they break into the Fantastic Four <laughs> Plaza, and they go to the negative zone without them, and then they have to fight the uh, Fantastic Four, and they just basically blow smoke up their butt and win anyways. But the trick is, it's not his sister, but I won't tell you who it is, because it's a big... We've never seen her in a Shang-Chi comic book. I'll give you the he. The, the he-she thing. It's a she. She. So. Uh, why not? The me you love in the dark. Number two. Scotty Young did the uh, writes. He did the writing. He's the writer. The story. There we go. Uh, I took a minute. Uh, art is by George Corona. I like George's art. It's very... It doesn't fit the story. It's a little goofy for the story. I do like, um, because she's, she thinks there's a ghost in the house, and the ghost talks to her. And I do believe, I think he even mentions that. Let me see. 
Would you be more at ease if I were a ghost, Rowena? And so, this is one of those famous Scotty Young things where you were given a set of this is what's going to happen, and he kills you on the last page, where you're like, oh no. So, this is a really good series. I don't know how long you can drag a story like this out, but eh, we'll see it's Scotty. He could probably write it forever if he wanted to. So, yep, Scotty Young. And I like this. I show this in the back. Whenever she's playing jazz albums, this is the effect for the music. It looks like a spinal column, but you know that it's the music because you can see little notes once in a while. And this was really a neat artistic choice. All right. Number 34. Apparently on issue 37 it's uh, Chip Zdarsky's last issue and they're going to stop it and probably give us a new number one because if Marvel can give you a new number one once in a while. So this is Lockdown Part 4. Um, we have Chip Zdarsky as the writer, Stefano Landini as the artist. Um, they sent this detective in and Daredevil has taken over the prison. Because he was sort of in there to, this is awful. <laughs> he was in there to find out what was going on with the, with the prisoners. And it says, and I quote, there's a drug called Resed, which increases violent antisocial behavior. Prisoners get out, get dosed with it, they go back to their neighborhoods, transmit it to others, it gets weaker as it's transmitted, so it very rarely leaves the neighborhood, but it does the job. More arrests, more prisoners for the prison to make money off of. So they are making them. And he's, Daredevil sucked a whole thing of the reset, so he's not being himself. He is very violent. There's a lot of the, they use the little things for the swear words. There's a lot of the F bomb that you never see. And we have Electra, Daredevil. She tells the little girl, I'm going to stop trying with you because you shouldn't have to hang out with me. Here's the keys to the apartment. I've left enough money that you'll never work a day in your life. i got to go be Daredevil because Bullseye is out. And they get about halfway through the book. And the guy who's fighting, the detective who's fighting Daredevil, says, um, you're on this morality tour while Bullseye is out there murdering our city. And the whole time Daredevil's, bam, 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 bam. He stops. He goes, Bullseye. And he's just completely focused. He's gone. He breaks out of prison. He puts on a gas mask. He heads for Times Square because he needs to find Bullseye. Bullseye is the most important thing. Electra, with help from Tony Stark and his nanobots, is also at Times Square, just like Daredevil, looking for Bullseye. To make it more fun, Typhoid Mary is in Times Square, dressed like Daredevil, looking for bullseye. So that's going to be interesting and they did something to Electra's Psy, her, her ninja daggers. They make this go on so we don't know what that does yet because unfortunately it says continued next issue. And then they put this sweet thing. I'm not a big John Romita Jr. fan. I know, shocking, right? Um, it's Captain America, it's Joe Quesada, oh, that makes sense, Joe Quesada, John Romita Jr., um, there's some other people in here, and it's Spider-Man meeting up with Captain America while they toll the 9-11 bells, and they just wait, and it shows scenes from New York City as each bell rings. They have to ring the bell a specific amount of time, and I'm sorry, I don't know how many times, I can count the bongs for if you want. But I don't know. Um, and then they do the worst thing. They have this big, huge, gorgeous spread. And Spider-Man asks Captain America, Did you know anyone? Want to see the answer? I'll give you the answer because it's not really a spoiler. He says every single one of them. And that's all it is, is all of these people. So that was sweet. I don't know if you cut into my Daredevil comic book, but it was really sweet that they put a... And it's in the only Marvel book. I don't know why they picked Daredevil, but Daredevil, maybe they had a shorter page count. They didn't charge me any extra for it, I don't think. No, $3.99. So, they do have a little thing. Ooh, I'm going to check the other. Is it really only on this one? 
Marvel comic. There's a little tiny 20 years never forget 9-11 sticker in the corner of the book. I'll have to look for other ones if I see them, I'll let you know. It was a really nice thing that Marvel did for that. So, because I didn't see anything like that coming from DC. So, alright, Sophie, Fiona, I'm glad that you came over. Um, you turned into vegetables in front of my TV and watched too many Baldy videos, but whatever. And so, that's it for this week. Next week's a short week, maybe five comic books. Go buy a comic book. I'll see you next week. Goodbye.